Welcome all to Opening of the Seals, the Book of Truth, given by our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, through the last prophet on earth, Maria of Divine Mercy. Only the Lamb will be the one who will open the seals, and I shall read from his book that is available free to download in 40 languages at www.thewarningsecondcoming.com I dedicate this to my wife and many like her that do not like to read. This is the 100th reading. Again, it's Volume 2. After the Global Confession, I will prepare for my second coming. Monday, January 9th, 2012, 8-10 hours. My dearest beloved daughter, the times are moving swiftly, and the warning will herald the preparation for my second coming. After the great com global confession, when most of humanity will be given special graces and blessings, I will prepare the way for my second coming. Mankind must accept that the time for this great event is almost upon them. Waste no time in preparing your souls and those of your families for my glorious return. My second coming will bring to an end the torments you have endured for thousands of years on earth. So great is this glorious event that no man will fail to grasp the wonder and astonishment as I appear in the skies. You of this generation have been chosen to benefit from this journey with me into the new paradise during the era of peace over which I will reign. No one must be excluded. Not one soul must be allowed to fall through the net. It is my greatest desire to bring you all with me into my kingdom. This is the glory which mankind has awaited for since my death on the cross. For those of you who turn a blind eye to my pleas, I urge you to begin preparing now. My time is drawing close. I have now sent my final messenger into the world to help you prepare your souls. This has been prophesied. Do not ignore my warning, because if you do, you will not awake and you will fall, fail to prepare adequately. It will impart many message, I will impart many messages from now on, so that the world is ready to accept me, the Redeemer, your beloved Jesus, Redeemer of all mankind. Virgin Mary, so many souls choose to ignore the signs I gave. Tuesday, January 10th, 2012, 20, 30 hours. My child, you must tell the world of the importance of prayer at this time. My children are suffering everywhere in every country. It is important that all God's children unite at this time in order for the darkness to be finally lifted from the earth. How I weep with sorrow when these souls choose to ignore my visionaries, my visions to visionaries on earth. So many choose to ignore the signs I gave to ensure that faith can be restored. So cold are their hearts, including those of priests and clergy, who are blind to the truth that much time has been wasted. If they only open their hearts to the messages I gave, I have given the world, then more souls would have been given the nourishment they needed. These are the final days when my words of encouragement must be heeded. Pray, 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 that my, my, that my son's voice will be heard in every way. It was meant to be. Do you not think, children, that he would not prepare mankind for his great mercy? This he now sets out to achieve through the conversion of, of as many souls as possible. 
His plans are complete, with one exception. He needs more prayers, for without such prayers souls would be lost to the deceiver. My child, my son will bring much needed relief to his beloved children soon. In his mercy, he will now also prepare the world for his second coming. Pray that all those who believe in my Son will open their hearts to the truth of his holy messages. If they listen and follow his instructions, all will be well. If they ignore the warning given to them out of pure love, they will deny others the chance of salvation. I plead for the generosity of souls to pledge their alliance to my beloved Son by marching with him towards the glorious reign in the new paradise. The messengers have been sent into the world for some time to help prepare the world for this great event. The final stages are now in place. Hear now the voice of my son as he speaks to you. Do not reject him, your loving mother, Queen of Heaven, Mother of Salvation. The greatest abomination since the Holocaust is being plotted against the Jews. Wednesday, January 11th, 2012, 1500 hours. My dearly beloved daughter, watch now the efforts being made by the global power, not of the light, which attempts to mount a campaign against my people. I refer to Christians and my chosen people, the Jews. Wicked plans are being plotted to wipe out the practice of Christianity in a devious but subtle way. It will start with the change in the con constitutions of countries everywhere in the Western world. Every attempt will be made to cast scrupulous claims against my Christian churches. My sacred servants will slowly withdraw, leaving my people with little spiritual support. All these laws will have a cunning exterior of tolerance. Your faith, my children, is being put to the test like never before. Christianity and any attempts to publicly proclaim my name will be thwart thwarted. In its place, an empty doctrine will emerge, and people will be confused. They will think that this doctrine is a good and fair replacement for the truth, when, in fact, it will be a lie. This wicked group is so powerful that very few know there they exist. They are everywhere pulling the strings. My children are like puppets. Many choose chosen people, the Jews, are facing yet again a terrible persecution. Plans to overthrow them are underway. Those who believe to be their friends are their enemies. They will suffer such hardship. I call on all of mankind to pray for Israel. The biggest Abomination since the Holocaust is being plotted against my people. Pray, pray, that the Antichrist's group are stopped from committing these evil acts. These dark souls need your prayers so that during the warning they will recognize their offenses. Pray that they drop that they will drop their armor and beg for my mercy. If they do, then the wars and unrest in Israel can be deluded. Many prophecies will now unfold before your eyes. Those blind to my promises must be given the light of my mercy in order to see again. Do not be deceived, children. 
what seems good on the outside is not always as it seems. Peacecape, peacekeeping forces, many of them innocent pawns, are being lied to. Never fear, because my mercy will have an important influence over this sect, who have been plotting against my church for centuries. They cannot and will not win, but they will cause terror, tremendous terror, unless prayer can mitigate their wicked dominance. Prayer, pray the new crusade prayer to help stop the Antichrist and his group about whom I speak. Crusade prayer number 18. Help stop the Antichrist. O oh, dear Jesus, save the world from the Antichrist. Protect us from the wickedness, wicked snares of Satan. Save the last remnants of your church from evil. Give all your churches the strength and graces needed to defend ourselves against the wars and persecution planned by Satan and his army of terrorists. Amen. Your beloved Jesus, Savior and Redeemer of all mankind. And this ends the 100th reading.